What's up, guys? All right, let's get to it. A Nosuke mask. I'm using this template. I always, always use it. I always use this template because it's one, my favorite. It's easy to use, easy to manipulate. And if you want it, I already make a video. It's on my page. Just go and look for it. You can easily find it. And I am making the snout right now. So all I'm doing is rounding it out. And I'm going to apply concrete cement or contact cement. I just like to call it concrete cement. Uh, if you never used it before, you put it on, on whatever surfaces you want to attach. And then you let it dry. Uh, you don't let it dry completely. Just wait about five 10 minutes depending on where you're at uh till it's tacky when it's tacky you apply both surfaces to each other and it will stay almost forever these pieces the ones i just had keeping them for later because i'm going to use them for the the tusk all right now i gotta make the nose and I'm going to make like a heart shaped nose. I'm drawing these two pieces and I'm going to attach them together. So I actually make these two pieces a little bit too small. So I'm going to try and, you know, try and finesse my way. But you see how it's kind of pointed out. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to have to grind some down. And the foam I'm using, I'm using 10 millimeter floor mats. Uh, I got it at Walmart. It comes in a package of six pieces for 15 bucks, I believe. I think it raised up from to 20 bucks. But either way, so pretty cheap. But after cutting these noses out, they're going to be about maybe 20 millimeters, 24 millimeters. I forgot what it is. But I still got to grind these pieces down to give it that pointed shape. So for the snout and the ears, I'm using three millimeter foam just because it's easier to fold and bend three millimeter foam than it is 10 millimeter foam uh, just sm smaller it is easier it is so for the ears you can see i made a triangle and all i'm doing is rounding them out on top also guys if there's an ad that pops up let me know so i can try to take it off because i don't like watching videos and then an ad pop up and i'm pretty sure some of y'all don't either all right time to reshape that nose so what i'm gonna use is my dremel I got it at Walmart for maybe 20 bucks. Uh, when you use this Dremel, you're supposed to use a face mask or a respirator only because all that dust you're about to see, let's see right there, all that dust, um, you're not supposed to breathe that in. It's supposed, it's really bad for you. It's toxic for you, but you know, I was doing whatever. And this putty right here, this putty, I don't really recommend it. Um, yes, it's easy to use, easy to shape, but when it dries, it's doesn't it's not hard it's not the same texture as the foam it was all right to use i couldn't really mess with it i should have used water but i didn't so i just you know try for the best i'm over here trying to make everything look proportionate and the thing in my mind was that would this look right with the fur on it and i was just taking a guess so uh, when I looked at it, I was like, this would be all right. When I had four, it would hide all of this, all right? All right, here's a sneak peek. And I messed up the ears. So supposed to be facing sideways. So those pieces I said to save, uh, these are them. I connected both of them, and then I'm going to reshape them to make them look like tusk and not pointy things. So we're trying to figure out which side the nose is going to be, uh, putting contact cement on it. And I'm going to let it dry a little bit while I continue to reshape the tusk. And the uh, foam putty, uh, it's not doing what I wanted it to do. But, you know, I got to do what I can. So I'm going to use my Dremel to actually reshape these tusks. Uh, I got it at Walmart for about 20 bucks. And the heads are not too bad. After I made the tusk smooth, round, and all that, I realized I messed up the ears. The ears are not supposed to be facing forward. They're supposed to be sideways, so I cut them off. Well, here's a sneak peek of what I did. Oh, well, after I cut them off. Now, here's a sneak peek. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good so far. All right, guys. Now it's time for the fur. Yeah, I got too much of it, but you know what? It's better to have more than not have enough. Um, so I'm going to measure it with a string and a measuring tape. So the way I measure, I get the string, a long string, and I wrap it around. 
and I mark it off and I put it next to the measuring tape to see how long the string is. So in this case, I measure from the around the snout. So around the snout is about 10 inches and then front to back, uh, nose to the tusk is about five inches. And then I wonder if I should do one piece or multiple pieces. Well, I end up doing multiple pieces and at the end of the video, you can, you can judge my work. I don't like it, but I made it work because that's what I do. If you never used fur before, you never cut it. There's two pieces. There's a hair and then there's the piece the hair is connected to. You cut the piece the hair is connected to, so have it facing away from you when you cut it. This way, when you cut the hair, you, uh, this way you don't cut the hair and you can hide the seams. You see, the hair still, still sticks out. Now for the eyeballs. Use a template. I cut out the template, and I'm actually going to put this on mesh, or metal meshing, you know, and this way I can still see out the eyeballs, kind of, because when you put the helmet on, you still got, you know, I'm talk about that later, but the way I mark this, I'm marking with a chalk marker, and I use a chalk marker now because when I use Sharpie, Sharpies will dry out way quicker than this chalk marker. I uh, bought it for $3 at Walmart, almost the same price as a Sharpie, and, you know, it would last longer, okay? So, you see how it looks? Nice, clean, amazing. Keep on doing what you're doing. And also, guys, if you never cut foam with a razor, make sure your razor is sharpened because the one I used was bad. Yeah, I used it for a long time. I never sharpened it, and... I end up having to saw the foam out which kind of tore the foam and also like kind of ripped it a little bit so always sharpen your razors and you can see the foam putty never really dried like you rip it yeah you know, it's whatever all right i let it set out for more than 24 hours and it's still that soft so continue to saw off the eyeballs and as you can see it's yeah, it's not that great. You can see the rips. You can see the tears. Yeah, it, the ridges, not that great. But, you know, made it work. Not too bad. And time to use hot glue. I end up using a lot of hot glue for this piece because I was trying to get it done. I was trying to get going, and I didn't have much time. Yeah, I just used hot glue to put all these pieces on it. And if you're ever going to cut fur... Remember, cut the hair facing away from you. This way, you don't actually cut the hair. You cut the thing the hair is attached to. Um, the reason why is because you can always hide the seams and all that. Because the hair is still attached. And it can cover up those mess ups. And this the hair covers a lot of my mess ups in this video. Uh, at the end, you're going to see what I'm talking about. And you can probably see some of my mess ups. When you cut any pieces, make sure that the fur is actually going in the direction you want it to go. Uh, you don't want your fur to actually to accidentally go in the opposite direction. So, the helmet, I want all the fur going in one direction, and so I have it all going back. Um, you remember when I talk about cut the, don't cut the fur. As you saw, as you're gonna see, you're gonna see that the hair covers up that seam that the nose and. Uh, the forehead attached to so. when you're using hot glue you want to hold the fur down because it's still going to be hot and it has it cooled off and it's going to move on you and that's the downfall of this but after you're holding it down letting it cool it'll be fine so i'm going to move the fur down or flip it over because that piece that new piece is going to go underneath it the reason why it's going to go underneath it because the fur, like I said, you want the fur going in the same direction so it can hide those seams. As you're going to see, I'm using a crap ton of hot glue because I don't want this to move at all. Um, after I got it down, I'm going to put the fur back and look, can't even see, can't even see that seam. Nice. For the side piece, side pieces are hard. Like, mm, like always, always, every side piece is always hard. That's why I don't use side pieces. I end up doing it on this because, you know, I had to. 
So I cut the slots for the tusk and I cut a slot for the ear. So I want this to be as flush as possible, even though I know it won't be, I'm still going to try my best. So as you can see, I am doing small cuts. I'm not doing long cuts. I'm trying to keep this blade as close as that piece of uh, whatever it's called. So I don't accidentally cut the hair. All right, now I'm going to glue this. And this is really tricky because I don't know what I'm doing, basically. And I'm trying my best to make it look nice. So, again, using a lot of hot glue. Trying to keep this down. Trying to hide all my mistakes. So, and that's the nice thing about fur. It hides all your mistakes. Yes, you can still see some of them. But with this, yeah, kind of hides it. So, uh, the number one problem I had here was not the ear. The ear was actually pretty easy. It was the back, the back piece. So, if you look at the back of it later on, you're going to see I have a mullet. It doesn't look right. I try to hide it. It's whatever. Um, I didn't want to do much. I didn't want to cut it. But, <laughs> I'm going to let that mullet hang. <laughs> Alright, now that I got most of the fur, you know, put on the helmet or a mask, whatever you want to call it, it's time to move on to the eyeballs. So what I'm using is ping pong balls. I'm going to use ping pong balls. I'm going to cut them in half. I end up using two because I already know I'm not going to do it perfectly in half. So I'm just going to cut them in half. And again, make sure that your blade is sharpened because if it's not, it's going to be hard. So because my blade wasn't sharpened. It was more difficult than what it was. <laughs> All right, time to paint. And I'm using a white paint. Because I let it sit for so long, I got to shake it. If you don't shake it well, you're going to have little you know, chunks still in there. So make sure you shake it like I didn't do because there was a chunk hanging off right there. And luckily, it was on the lid and not in the paint. Because if it was in the paint and it gets on the eyeball, you're going to be able to see it. And you don't want that. Now that I got my eyeballs painted white, time to make the actual, you know, eye thingy, the black thing that goes underneath. I'm using a mesh, so I'm drawing the template out. And I'm going to, this template, I'm going to put it on the mesh, and I'm going to cut it out. And I'm adding two centimeters onto it, or a centimeter onto it, because when I glue it in the mask, is going to be you know, that that extra centimeter is going to be what I glued to the mask inside. All right. So after you got the template, you're going to put the template on the mesh and this mesh. I don't know where I got it from. Um, my wife had it and I ended up taking it from her because, you know, she doesn't use it. So I'm going to use it. Um, I don't know where she got it from. I really don't know, so I can't tell y'all where. I wish I could. But, um, again, I'm using two layers of this mesh because I don't want people to be able to see inside the mask, inside the mask when I have it on. Um, kind of defeats the purpose. But this mesh is going to be the stuff behind the eyeball. You know, not the cornea, but, uh, what is it called? I don't remember, but I'm using two layers and what I'm going to do, I'm going to end up spray painting it. You can see the black spray paint right there. I got that spray paint at Walmart. I know it's at Walmart for like $350, $450. i am not too entirely sure, but yeah. So let me get that done now and time for the eyeballs. So after the eyeballs draw, uh, bleh, after the eyeballs are dry i end up using a highlighter a blue highlighter to do the outside because it's like two layers of blue there's a the light blue and then a dark blue and then the permanent marker for the for the pupil or oh, yeah the pupil um i don't have a dark blue marker so i end up taking another another thing from my wife uh it's a dark highlighter or a blue highlighter dark blue highlighter and i end up using that for the second layer of the blue yeah, my wife is actually coming in handy for this video. So, yeah. 
So after I'm done, after I'm done uh, coloring that blue, I'm gonna use the black highlighter to actually do the outlines of it because you know, it kind of doesn't look right being uh, you know without the outline outlines. So I'm gonna use outlines and I'm gonna draw the pupil. And after I'm done with that, I'm gonna hot glue all of this stuff together and it's gonna look somewhat decent. I hope it looks somewhat decent, but you can still see that mullet right there. I'm gonna have to brush it out later. But it's time to get started on the ears. So like I make the triangles to make them, I'm gonna trace the triangles out to <laughs> make them again. And I'm gonna give it a little bit extra so I can, or actually later on you're gonna see why I give it a little bit extra. It's always good to give a little bit extra because you can cut it down. And uh, just to remind you, if there's any ads in my videos, just let me know. I'm going to try and take them down because I don't like watching a video and then an ad randomly pops up. I'm pretty sure some of y'all don't like that either. So just to help my sanity and y'all sanity, just let me know so I can try to take them out. But after I'm done cutting all four of these pieces out, and yes, I said four because I got to put one on each side of the ear. One on the inside, one on the outside. So, uh, I forgot to do one of the eyeballs. But, you know what? I'm going to cut the eyeballs out. Well, the things out. And now I'm going to paint them. Well, I'm using, I'm using pink for the top of the ears. Because in the mask, top of the ears, tip of the ears are pink. I'm just doing a light coat. Because I still want to be able to brush this out. So, it looks, you know, natural. And now, I got to hot glue all these pieces together. So, what I end up doing... Um, this is where it gets tricky because I got to make sure this looks nice. I got to make sure it looks flush and I got to make sure it looks clean, which is kind of difficult with hair because hair decides to do its own thing and I'll just end up cutting all of that out. And I said, cut the hair because, you know, I just, again, trying to make it look clean. So hot gluing this is going to be difficult. Because I can't really see on the inside. I should have angled this better. But I end up not. So with those two pieces. I end up gluing both both sides of them. To keep them flat. And then. Once I got those two pieces down. I'm going to use hot glue on the ball. And this is plastic. And this is hot glue. And those kind of don't mix. But you know what. I'm just playing the game trying to trying to make sure i get a home run on this so now that i got them together time to put them put them in the mask and again this is difficult because i'm trying to trying to angle it to where it looks nice and it's kind of hard to do it when i can't see the outside and when i hold it in uh it doesn't really like you know stay in the same area because I didn't fold or bend these uh, mesh to make them round, which I should have. I should have uh, rolled them out to make them more roundish so they can be more flush with the helmet. But uh, again, a lot of hot glue can save the day. <laughs> so now that I got that in, it's not coming out. It looks good. It, from this angle, it doesn't look too bad. Um, again, hot glue in s small places don't really mix. But yeah. Uh, now I got the eyes in, time to do the ears. I'm doing the top first because I like to see, you know, I, I think doing the top first is easier than doing the bottom because doing the inside of the ear or the bottom of the ear is more tricky. And at least there I can be, you know, I can mess up a little bit and kind of hide it. But again, hot glue. Now that I got the mask put together completely, it's more difficult to maneuver it. Alright, the reason why I give a little bit extra is so I can actually glue them later on together. Uh, this is going to hide that foam in, on the inside. And as you can see, it just pinched together. And that because it's fur, it's hair, it kind of covers it completely. You can't really tell. But again, uh, when you're messing with this, make sure the hair is going in the direction you want it to. You don't want it to accidentally go in the wrong direction. And it's going to look wrong if you do. But again, fold that flap and pinch it back up. 
it covers that seam unlike the inside of the ear which i didn't do now i gotta play with it a little bit and try to make it look somewhat decent so I, because i didn't do it correctly i actually have to cut the ends so it doesn't bunch up on the inside and look kind of awkward and i glue the inside or i glue the outside the uh, outline so i pinch it together to close it and because it's fur i can brush it and it will look natural it'll look like one piece which i like it but that's it right there it's done honestly i just got to paint the nose and after it painted the nose nice 